seguimos neste. So, moving on to the second day, moving on to um, another subject that is an analysis how telecommunication uh, companies can improve um, the customer experience. Uh, let me ask Raquel Henrique Sanchez to come up to the stage who will be addressing uh, the subject. From She is Director of Telecom Media and Tech. Good morning, everyone. My name is Raquel Santos, Director of NTTT Data, Media and Tech. And it's quite a pleasure to be able to speak about a subject, which is customer engagement. And the title is Clients in Motion, How Technology Can Help Us to Improve Experience, Loyalty, and includingly improve uh, our sector's revenue. Speaking about engagement, we need to think about a definition. What does it mean? If we search quickly, uh, we find a commitment, engagement. We're speaking about an involvement uh, in Brazil. Our Brazilian colleagues translated into engagement, engagement. So there's a common denominator, which is a relationship and emotion. How are we able to um, touch and engage the clients? our clients, but we have some ideas, strategies that we've been developing uh, within the uh, perspective of a long-term personalized relationship, including um, contributing to a lifetime value of a brand. The first is a, an experience, not only the contact point, but more in terms of holistic thinking about an, an experience um, overcome what a customer expects. And from this point of view, we need to bring emotion. Bring emotion has to uh, go beyond the provision of our service or delivery of a product such as Starbucks, Starbucks brand, and it's not all, we, all, we don't only go to Starbucks to have a coffee, but we want to socialize with our friends and so on, hard work. We uh, buy a T-shirt, it supersedes that is uh, delivering a product and a service. Let me uh, enhance what is mutual. We also have to give and take. And um, we find the things, uh, su such things, if we treat better a new customer than an existing one at a gym, uh, uh, the client has access to benefits and and um, uh, having access for a very long time to a gym uh, were treated differently and so a friction is being created. So this is what we need to think about in the experience we want to provide our uh, customers with. Why is engagement important? Linking it to the uh, subject of the session, the first aspect is experience. Data from a Salesforce, uh, customers believe experiences are as meaningful as their products and services. And let me, your draw, let me draw your attention to an interesting data. That is, uh, mobile interactions, half of, over half of customers are less likely to engage because of a bad mobile experience. So this is extremely power and it strengthens the digital uh, channel uh, importance and the interaction with our customers, an uh, important uh, link, retention. Over 64% of, uh, more than 64% of customers expect tailored engagements based on an past interactions. So the power of data serving engagement and includingly it's much cheaper to retain a client, a happy one, than acquiring and, and uh, removing, uh, getting uh, customers to from our competitors, this direct link between engagement and retention. And then an, a not so direct link, which uh, relates to revenue, which is important. One out of four uh, say 
they're more likely to spend with companies. So this is what we think in terms of the authenticities of our relationship with the customers and why engagement is very important. Now, all this is very interesting. We want to engage with our customers, but not always do the customers like this. How do we engage? Uh, how to interact with them without annoying them? Because uh, uh, silence clients are those that normally it seems that everything is okay, but they're extremely dangerous because they don't uh, mention uh, problems. 25% of customers with a problem do not complain, and they just disconnect the service right away, disconnect it, and then they comment with one or three people that the service was bad. They become detractors. So we have to try to try to balance between the interaction with them and also that this be not too excessive and becomes harmful. No rev uh, no match no uh, recipe. But based on some of the projects carried out, some hints, some simple aspects. Digitally uh, enabled uh, customers, after this uh, engagement relationship, buying products and services, they um, read a blog and so on. And then uh, from then on, nothing happened. Some examples in the Middle East, companies doing this very well. That is the customer does not leave the uh, shop without the app being installed or, be, or being registered. So customers being apt to receive that notification will be most likely to receive contacts and in, to receive the contact and interaction. This is to explain benefits associated to program as also areas well developed upsells. So it's up to the customer in a simple way, we're speaking about a well-mounted processes to sell continuously to these customers. A second example, digital engagement programs. They're not necessarily those old uh, loyalty, the old loyalty pro programs that we know of, that is in a revenue increase, uh, uh, when the um, client pays a bill, uh, charges, and so on. These are programs that uh, have quite an impact. The client charges, uh, receives a link, a game could be simple, uh, like a supermarket voucher and others. Now, if the client... Uh, um, remains in the program, and then the customer will have access to a mega prize. But when this habit is created, it has an impact, and the client uh, stays with us. It's uh, it's linked to ga gamification uh, processes, sustainable um, uh, aspects, and then it's very difficult for these uh, clients to be loyal. If we don't demonstrate high levels of loyalty towards them, how is this done? Several techniques are used. It relates to something which has been successful, these cross-sector benefits to create a partnership idea that we're giving back to our customers. And this is possible via digital means. Very important uh, to pass a diversity to the customer to choose if he or she wants a benefit, a coffee, an ice cream, or if wants to wait for something incredible like a trip or so on. It's up to the customer to choose. Not all programs, as I've mentioned, loyalty programs were successful. The old ones with points, were, most of them failed. But this also challenged us to look forward because a customer's best experience is not uh, is no longer in the telecommunication sector, but um, mentions uh, the best experiences. And uh, there is no perfect recipe, but let me give you some examples of some uh, programs which have strengthened. A first example, YouTube in the UK, 
doing it extremely well through the priority program uh, offers early access, exclusive offers, early access to concert tickets, and um, it's a premium. It's premium with a very good impact. Another example is personalization. I think we've uh, spoken quite a lot of personalization, data personalization. If we uh, look at consumer model and try to transpose them into an, a customer engagement, um, new challenges, and so on. To, there are several examples. What's being done in terms of geo uh, uh, references, a client having access to a promotion, the tanks ATAT program offers a porter, a concierge, uh, supporting the customer. We're speaking about um, customers loyal to the brand, and I like the, uh, the Verizon one, the UP program. All benefits were transposed into an advantage matrix, and it's the customer that chooses where he wants to ch exchange the points. And this is personalization relating to uh, the customer's will. Gamify, gamification, gamification. These are basic examples that I've mentioned. Uh, too basic, maybe try to find new ways to engage uh, with our customers and Indonesian companies made their loyalty program, they uh, transformed it into a, a game. So uh, the customer has to go through different levels and some uh, missions are leisure ones, others have to entail buying something, but this is part of the game. However, the benefits are not only physical, they can uh, gain some uh, glasses for the avatar, very interesting dynamizing uh, characteristic. Finally, I remember the uh, community deals better than giving a benefit to the customer to develop networking because the group when it becomes when it becomes viral it also impacts quite a lot the brand it there's an impact on, on the brand we could continue on speaking about other ideas having other ideas because there's quite a benefit when we speak when we think of it together when we super uh, seed it and I'm going to conclude by saying how do we keep this marriage, these emotions, uh, how do we keep this emotion, how we, um, how is this relationship good for both? And let me say, and this is our commitment, thinking about you and to be able to um, obtain the best response, the best answer for you. See you soon, and thank you very much. Let me say that the young lady was speaking extremely fast.